Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get it all done with me and we're going to be starting with a holiday pantry stock up, which is mostly from Aldi, but I did get some meat items from my local grocery store because they had insane deals this week. So without further ado, let's hop on into the video. All right guys. Are you ready for like the biggest grocery haul? So back in the spring before COVID hit, I did a huge pantry stock up and I spent $600 on that pantry stock up. Now this time I only spent $300 because I went to Aldi, such a good deal. And I'm super excited to share some of the things that I found for Christmas, Thanksgiving, all the things, like I said, holiday pantry stock up. I got your back for the cheap finds this year. All right, you guys, like I said, starting off today's video with an Aldi holiday pantry stock up. I have so many good things to share with you guys today. But before we hop into the video, I do want to share that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Melanie here on YouTube and over on Instagram. She reached out to me and I was so excited to find out that she is local to my area. She is just about an hour away from me. How cool is that that I have another YouTube mama friend who is within an hour of where I live. I feel like it's so rare to like find somebody who does the same thing as I do. So make sure that you guys go over and check out her channel. She does very similar content to me, mom motivation. She loves to clean, declutter, all of the good things. Head over to Melanie's channel, tell her that I sent you, and be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of her content. So I'm so excited to be collaborating with her on today's video. All right, so getting back into the grocery haul for you guys. Um, I stocked up, like I said, a lot of this stuff is for the pantry. Um, there are a few items from my local grocery store, which I will kind of talk over with you guys, but 90% of this is from Aldi. The only stuff that really isn't from there. Just a couple of non-perishable items that I couldn't get at Aldi. Most of my meat from my local grocery store as well because they had an insane deal on meat this week. Ground beef was only $1.99 a pound. I got this entire haul, you guys, for $300. Last time I did a pantry stock up, it cost me $600. So Aldi was quite the money saver, and if you are on a budget for the holidays this year, I highly recommend going to Aldi and getting these pantry items because I am going to be doing an entire Thanksgiving meal using these items that I got from Aldi. Stay tuned for that video with all of my Thanksgiving recipes going live on Wednesday for you guys. I've got everything from pie to my turkey and all of my sides. All of the things will be shared in that video on Wednesday and I'm so excited so stay tuned for that. Now getting into the pantry items, I got six boxes of stuffing. I got two pork, two herb, and two turkey. I got two jars of Alfredo sauce, 10 cans of cream of chicken, 10 cans of cream of mushroom, six cans of chicken noodle soup, and then I got about four cans of corn and four cans of green beans. All of those were 50 cents. I got two cans of like the Aldi version of Rotel as well, and I think those were a little bit more expensive. I believe they were around a dollar. And then I also got some Chipotle's, and I love to use Chipotle's in my homemade Chipotle sauce, which is just a half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayo, a couple Chipotle's, and a teaspoon or two of the adobo sauce that it comes in. It's so good, you guys. I did get two cans of cream of potato soup from my local grocery store because Aldi did not have it. Um, but I like to have cream of potato on hand for um, chicken while dry soup. It's one of our favorites in the house and I got the recipe for my aunt and it's so, so good. So that is where the cream of potato is from. I also got a couple loaves of bread. I got a regular loaf for the kids and I got the lighter calorie one for myself. I am trying to go keto here in between the holidays just to keep off the holiday weight and it works really well for me. I get into ketosis really fast. So I will be trying to do more of a keto version of some of these meals, but Lots of good things in here. If you are not going keto and if you are staying on Weight Watchers, I will be sharing Weight Watchers recipes still. I just like to incorporate keto here and there to slim down some of the extra weight. I'm trying really hard to shed the rest of the 50 pounds from like having babies and all of the things. So just an FYI on that. 
Um, picked up Oreos for the kids, got some cream cheese. I got three things of butter, which these were $1.67 each at Aldi, which is insane. The cheapest I can find it in town right now is $2.50. So this is almost an ent entire dollar cheaper. I also picked up individual packets of guac because I love to have it on salads and on like burrito bowls and things like that with rice cauliflower. I restocked up on my cheese, restocked up on my blocks of cheese, so shredded cheese and blocks of cheese. Um, I got oatmeal for the kids in the morning. I picked up this stuff that I'm holding in my hands is the, um, like it's for making venison snack sticks. My husband recently went deer hunting and we have a ton of venison in the freezer. So I am going to make some snack sticks with him and put it on the smoker. So I got some special seasoning for that. I also picked up some sprinkles um, from Aldi, which was $3. So that was one of the more expensive items I got from Aldi. I grabbed some sour cream, some mini chocolate chips, some potatoes. The potatoes were $1.67 for a 10 pound bag. Seriously, if you have an Aldi, you need to go to Aldi for your Thanksgiving groceries because it is so cheap right now. Um, another item I did not get from Aldi was Hamburger Helper. I got that from my local grocery store for a dollar each. I got some tortilla chips, I got buffalo wings. I picked up two extra bags of stuffing here as well. You can see in the front, the Pepperidge Farm Sage and Onion. Now this is the stuffing that we use during my family Thanksgiving and my dad prefers this one. It's so good. We make a sausage wild rice stuffing and it is delicious. Um, I picked up some pop tarts for the kids and I picked up these like frost drinks which are the like sparkling ice off-brand and sparkling ice drinks. I love them when I'm going keto because they are low in carbs and if I'm just craving something sweet, which usually when I'm going keto, I do tend to crave sweet things like at the end of the day just to like end my day. Um, and this will actually replace like a wine for me. I love red wine, um, but I just can't justify the carbs when I'm on keto. So I'll have some of those frost drinks and they're only 45 cents each. Um, I also grabbed soy sauce and mac and cheese. So soy sauce was like a dollar. The mac and cheese was 50 cents a box. I grabbed ketchup and that was like a dollar 67. The steak sauce was 99 cents. The grape jelly and strawberry jelly were each around $1.50. Peanut butter was $1.50. And I get unsweetened applesauce and I will have the reusable packets linked down below for you guys that I use. I used to spend $20 a week on GoGo -Go Squeeze packets, which was insane. I picked up some reusable applesauce packets from Amazon and they're so easy to clean, they're so easy to use, and I now save so much money on applesauce. So each of the applesauces are like $1.95 each. Um, and then I also grabbed chicken nuggets for the kids, which are like $3.99. I grabbed a few bags of this Oriental stir fry. There was only like five net carbs in these and it comes with the sauce. So I thought it was just a great keto, low carb find. Even Weight Watchers find this would be so good um, with a little bit of ground turkey or ground chicken. I think I'm probably going to saute it up with some, um, some either like shredded chicken or um, sliced chicken, like a teriyaki sliced chicken would be super good. Um, loaded up on frozen veggies, so I got rice cauliflower and broccoli florets. I got two bags of each. I grabbed some garden salad, green peppers. I got two packages of these green peppers for $2.50 each, which is like a really good deal for bell peppers. I also grabbed some baby bell mushrooms for stuffed mushrooms, got some black seedless grapes for the kids, strawberries, two containers of blueberries. I got celery for all of my recipes coming up, grabbed some coconut almond milk, which this is one of my most favorite finds from Aldi, is the um, almond coconut milk. It's so good with coffee. Um, and then I grabbed some Pam spray and some queso sauce, which the queso sauce is actually from my local grocery store, but it's super good. And then I grabbed apple cider, whole milk, some cold brew coffee, the stoke, stock, whatever stuff is so good. Um, grabbed some cocktail shrimp and all the meat that I got. So I got everything from my local grocery store except for the um, chicken and the bacon. So I got two things of bacon for $3.39 each. I got a roast um, from my local grocery store for like $9.74. Country style ribs. I got 10 pounds of hamburger. 
two pounds of fresh um, Italian sausage for the um, stuffing recipes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys and picked up two different things of um, like breakfast sausage. So I got patties and links. I picked up a huge flat of chicken tenders. I always call them chicken tenderloins. I like don't think they're actually called that, but the chicken tendies, okay. I picked up a flat of those, a flat of drumsticks and a flat of thighs because the drumsticks and thighs are like $5 each. Such a good deal. And then I think that the chicken tenders, um, I like using those more because, well, A, they're more tender, and B, because I feel like I get a little bit more um, stretched out across my meals. And then the rest of the fruit I have sitting on the counter are clementines, oranges, honey crisp apples, which if you haven't gone to Aldi for your honey crisp apples yet, you need to, because they're like $1.67 for an entire bag of them, which is crazy, because they're like $1.67 a pound everywhere else that I go. And then I also picked up a 15 pound turkey on sale this week for 87 cents a pound. So as you guys can see, I just got a ton of groceries for $300 so many groceries. So I highly recommend if you guys are going to be doing a holiday pantry stock up like I did, that you head over to Aldi to save yourself some major, major money and then watch your local grocery stores for their crazy meat sales. Cause during this time of year, at least like with my local grocery stores, the meat prices just go way low. And like once a month, they even will run like super good sales on their hamburgers. So the hamburger, the $1.99 a pound, once a month, once every other month, you can count on that coming around because they have to get rid of the meat. And then I just separate it out and I freeze it into like the sliders of black baggies and I have meat for months. So, all right, you guys, I am going to let you enjoy. I do some organizing here. I separate out the meat. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comments down below. But I hope that I am inspiring you and motivating you to get all of your things done. I know I feel so much better when I have a clean house and a full fridge and the things are organized and I feel prepared. When I feel prepared, I feel so much better. I have a clear head. So anyways, you guys, I am going to let you enjoy this part of the video and I will pop back in in a little bit.
One thing I want to mention really quick is it is super important that you wash your hands and you use an anti-back on your like counter surface in between every single kind of meat so that you're not cross contaminating. And I will do this with the food scale as well, just because you don't want any of the ickies, you don't want any of the germs, any of the cross contamination on your meat. So just wash your hands, girl, and clean off that counter in between the meat.
Okay, so I just got this brand new jacket for Riker from Target. It's so cute, 20 bucks. It's a puffer jacket. I don't use this when he's sitting in his car seat, but I will put it on him as soon as he is out because Minnesota winters are brutal. It's like the great white north up here and winter is coming, fellows. So anyway, it is white. I made a mistake, I know, but it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up and for 20 bucks. It's so handsome on him and it's so warm and cozy, but he got a hold of a red stuffed Oreo. Um, that's so fun for me. I took OxyClean and got it right out, just tossed it in the washer and then I let it air dry and then I like to fluff it afterwards because that like nice fuzzy inside can get gross so fast. So just a tip for you guys if you have jackets that have like fluff on the inside, just let them air dry for a while and then when they're almost dry, toss them into the dryer to just give them a quick fluff, toss in a bounce sheet and they smell super good. The next thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is tablescapes. I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. I look like a hot mess in this portion of the video. Just bear with me. Okay, I'm always a hot mess, but my decorating style is so frantic. I'm all over the place and just kind of like, blah, like just, I cannot decide on like one thing at one time. I have to feel it out and like just trial and error, like as I go, just figure it out. Um, so I decided to do a budget friendly tablescape for you guys and do it like Friendsgiving style. So I had this brown um, like paper scroll that I recently got from the um, general store in Minnetonka. If you guys are local to the Minneapolis region and you haven't been to the Minnetonka general store, you need to. Um, my heart exploded the first time I went there. It's so cute. It's just like the most giant boutique you could ever, ever think of. And it's gorgeous with like handmade items, all the things. So I found this really cute scroll there and did that as my table runner because I wanted to do like some messages on there and I thought it'd be funny if like my friends like wrote stuff on there or like family members or whoever the kids like that would just be such a fun idea and then you could keep it as a keepsake so Anyway, I'm just kind of messing around with this centerpiece. I really struggled. I knew I wanted this texture. You guys know I've been struggling to find a good garland. This is where I really, really wanted the fresh garland. But all I'm finding is like cedar fresh garland right now. So I just need to hold on until my local hardware stores start coming out with more of the fresh garland. My local grocery stores do have some, but like I said, they're cedar. So I just need to hang tight for a little bit longer. Um, so I stole these picks off of the dining room shelves just for um, this tablescape. I will put them back after I am done using them. But I just thought that they looked so cute with the brown paper and the color of the table. And I really, really struggled with that centerpiece. Everything looked just so awkward. And I was, again, like trying to, Again, I was trying to be budget friendly, so I didn't want to like go out and buy a bunch of new pieces for this. I wanted to show you guys what you could do with things on hand at home. Even if you have like wrapping paper that you really like as a table runner, you could do that and like cut it down and nobody would ever know. Um, I've seen other people do like macrame ones from like wall hangings they have. So many cute ideas that you could do for a um, table runner. I am loving the emerald green this year, so. I would really love to get like an emerald green plaid one before Christmas time and maybe layer with the brown paper. But I've also really been loving the Nordic like candlesticks. I've just seen so many cute pins with them. And yes, I know my little kitty Charlie is making an appearance. He's such a pain in my butt when I'm trying to decorate. We just got him like three weeks ago and he's just the most perfect fit. He's not super big on the dogs yet, so we have to keep them separated. Um, but they're they're learning to love each other slowly but surely. He's learning to like go under the couch when they're bugging him and it's, it's a slow process. But anyways, enjoy his little um, presence here in the video. Um, now I wanted to incorporate some brown glass, some amber glass in this tablescape and some um, like jute. Um, I wanted to do a jute runner, but I decided to do jute chargers because I had them in the house. Um, so again, I put together this tablescape, everything I had on hand 
except for the paper plates and napkins, which you guys will see later. I spent $6 on those. And then the value, the dollar value trees um, from Target, I got for a dollar each. So for $10, I put together this tablescape just with stuff I had laying around the house, repurposed them, redecorated with them. Um, don't be afraid to move your decorations around. Once they're up, they don't need to stay in the same spot. You can move them back and forth, you know, just depending on what the um, event is that you're hosting, or even if you're just like not feeling it that day or that week, you can switch it around. I'm such a huge fan of like using what you already have. Um, now, these are the napkins that I was talking about that I got from Target. They're so cute. This is exactly the print I was looking for, and I wanted to get a cloth napkin, but they did not have cloth. They only had paper, but even better because it was only $3 for a big pack of them. And then, like I said, I wanted to do some writing on the brown paper. I don't have the, I used to have the most perfect. I used to do signs all the time and I had awesome, awesome, like whatever script writing. And I feel like it's just gotten so like dingy over the past couple of years. I did like a cute Friendsgiving 2020 saying, and then on the other side, I put so thankful for you. You can do any kind of sayings on here. Um, my brown paper was thick enough so that it didn't bleed through to the table. And like I said, you can also like have your friends or family write messages on there to each other or to you and then keep it as a keepsake. Um, again, my cat is like so enthused with everything that I do, but I thought that this was such a cute personal touch on the table. And again, you guys, I barely spent anything on this tablescape, just used stuff laying around the house that I already had and it turned out so cute. So be imaginative, be creative with the items you currently have and could you do without it for like you know just hosting for one event just to make your table look that much more beautiful absolutely it's super fun I love putting together tablescapes for when I'm hosting dinners or even if I'm just doing like a fancy like family night in for Mike and I and the kids so Thanksgiving looks a little bit different for you this year that is okay and you can still go above and beyond for that one special meal with your household family so I just want to inspire you guys you don't need to go out to the stores you can do Target order pickup Walmart order pickup you can do Amazon do all of the things and still have a really cute budget friendly Thanksgiving Christmas Christmas meal and the last touch I added were some twinkle lights I had on hand I buy like five or six of these every year um, and then I will keep them in my light spin and they're just such a good addition to any kind of tablescape any kind of decorating in the house they just add so much especially at Christmas and Thanksgiving I love to add twinkle lights to literally everything lighting is everything folks okay so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tablescape and I will hop back in here in a second because I am going to share some real good recipes with you guys. All right, first recipe I'm sharing with you is a popover recipe. You're going to need two cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and then I think it was like a half a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna mix that around, and then you're gonna add three eggs. You mix that around until that is combined thoroughly, and then in a separate bowl you want to combine. You're going to want to combine about two thirds cup of milk, three eggs, mix that all around, and then stir it in gradually into the flour mix and then you're going to put that into a muffin tin and I like to bake mine at 425 for about 15 minutes and then I will kick down the heat to about 350 for another 15 to 20 minutes or until they're a light golden brown the cooking time does vary so keep that in mind if you like them even lighter and fluffier you can add a little bit more baking powder I think I will do this next time because it wasn't quite enough my dad makes literally the most 
amazing popovers ever. He's been making them since I was a kid. So I'm gonna try and sneak that recipe from him, but for now, use this one and I will share the good guy with you in just a few weeks as to what like my dad's recipe is. And now I'm gonna be sharing a simple meatloaf recipe, literally the world's most easiest meatloaf. You're gonna take one pound of hamburger, a half a cup of ketchup, and a box of stuffing. Now, this is actually like the stovetop recipe, but I just used all the Aldi uh, stuffing that I got and I used a pork flavor and it was so good. Um, you're gonna wanna put two eggs in there as well. I season with a little black pepper, a little bit of garlic salt to season it up, um, and then you're gonna mix it thoroughly. And then on top, you're going to do about a half a cup of ketchup. And then if you wanna get like a little saucy, you can do some brown sugar on top as well. No, it's not keto friendly, it's not Weight Watchers friendly, but it's really good. So if you want a bomb meatloaf, add a little bit of the brown sugar to the top. Now you can definitely add things to your meatloaf as well. Meatloaf as well. This is a very basic recipe. You can add onions, you can add mushrooms, all of the goodness that you guys like in your regular meatloafs, you can add to this one as well. The stuffing just makes it next level. And you're gonna wanna cook that at 350 for about 45 to 60 minutes. And then look at this beautiful bad boy. It's so good. It is so good. It's one of my family's most favorite recipes. I actually snuck this recipe for my aunt so I'm sharing all the family recipes with you guys lately I hope you're enjoying them here's the popover so good all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for me for today's video I will see you tomorrow for a mom motivation day in the life video okay bye guys